But before we do that, I want to address a comment. Well, hello everyone. How are you guys? Hopefully everybody's doing okay. We are in Osceola, Iowa. That road right there is US 34. And a road right back there is Interstate 35. We don't have a load today. I don't know. I've just been kind of lazy all day, man. Didn't feel like doing anything. I just felt like laying down, relaxing. Even though I'm not tired. I wasn't sleeping to relax, but I don't know. Just had to get a trailer washed out for uh, our load tomorrow that we have picking up. Uh, load picks up in Council Bluffs, Iowa. So about two hours that way. I spent the night right up there. There's the pilot. I can still see the sign. Spent the night there on the side. And this morning, this dumb idiot from Flying J comes, <laughs> makes me, well, I was already awake around like 6.15 or something like that. He comes knocking, he's like, there, buddy, there's parking spots over there now if you want to go ahead and park. I was like, my friend, you were very freaking nice, you know, because he said, hey, buddy. Uh, but even if he didn't say anything, I was already awake, so I wouldn't have told him anything. But don't do that if you don't absolutely have to wake up somebody do not wake them up just been sitting there truck stop all day trying to find something i didn't feel like going anywhere pretty much but i was still looking for something uh there was a sign saying they had a subway up there and my fat ass has been craving subway all day but then again i saw on the map they have arby's right here so my fat ass started craving subway and Arby's at the same time but then I zoomed in closer and right there behind that Arby's signs is Taco Bell and KFC and guess what my fat ass started craving Subway Arby's Taco Bell and KFC at the same time I was like damn man I didn't know what to do so guess what I didn't do anything I just ate half a bag of sunflower seeds now we're gonna go to Walmart over here and what we're gonna do later on whenever we get to Council Bluffs we're gonna make some Mexican food in a truck because I got New York strip steak in there in a the truck and I got chicken tenders so we're just gonna go in there get some uh, other ingredients that we need to make all that and we're gonna make it in a truck make it nice and healthy so freaking a bra we're doing it still have not smoked thank god man and i'll be honest with you sometimes i crave it sometimes i'm like but only for a moment like it's nothing that it's nothing crazy where i'm like oh god i can't live without the cigarettes no i got rid of cigarettes now it's time to start eating healthy again but i think i can do that because i've done it before so so let's go up here to this walmart we're gonna get water and we're gonna get ingredients to make some mexican food probably make like a burrito with a uh, healthy wrap dingy tortilla that's what it's called that's the proper name I hauled a load of those fucking tortillas one time and for some reason those idiots wanted to be uh, at negative 21. Like what the fuck man, it's not frozen at the store, you know what I'm saying? Now we gotta get some of this cilantro. Hmm, smells good. Okay, we gotta get a couple of these. Gotta find soft ones. Okay, good. One jalapeno. Why not? Since I'm already getting everything, I'm gonna go ahead and make guacamole. You know, get one of these onions too. Let's 
get the small one. Oh, they're all kind of small. Yeah, we're gonna make guacamole. Oh, can't forget the lime juice. Well, fresh lime would be better, but. Okay. Yeah, fresh lime is better, but we're still gonna get that. Let's see if they have any steak on sale. You never know, man. Definitely not on sale. We're looking for yellow stickers, discounted stuff, like this. But that's Chuck. We don't want Chuck, man. I don't want to choke on a Chuck. <laughs> well, if I want to make it the way that I like it, Gotta get a salsa too. Well, let's get the cheapest one. Picante sauce. That's salsa to me, my friend. See, they don't have... What is that stuff? These tortillas, they don't have the ones that are low calories. Like they have in other Walmarts. I guess we'll just get this. Because it's got 100 calories compared to the regular one which has how much this is a regular one it's got 210 yeah, we got a few of these keep them in a the truck even though I like spicy I like the flavor of this one. To me, it tastes very good. Can never have too many of these. Okay, looks like they do have it. This is what I was looking for. Yep. We don't need anything right here. I'm just passing through. Just passing through, honey buns. Do not look at me. Don't you look at me, little Debbie, I said. Should have just went to a Mexican restaurant because oh this is gonna be pretty pricey my friend. <laughs> oh uh, that's it. So 5450 for everything, which is not too bad if you ask me. Uh, yeah, let's load all this stuff in the, in the truck, get the paperwork filled out, make it look all pretty for our DOT jackasses, and uh, let's get going. Place looks pretty clean here at Walmart. I mean this area where we park haven't seen any poop bags or anything maybe it's late in the day and the poor guy from Walmart has to come out and clean it but I doubt it I really do I think people are being somewhat respectful of this place the only thing that needs to be refrigerated is uh, sour cream oh yeah we're gonna use one or two of these bad boys to make our, I don't know, Mexican food. I don't know if you can call it Mexican, but I'm pretty sure you could. The reason that the food might not be 100% Mexican is, uh, or Hispanic food, whatever you want to call it, 
I just call it Mexican food. Uh, because uh, a real Mexican food, you would not use the the little pouch that I bought with spices. You would put you would like put real ingredients in it. But I don't have a pleasure of doing that, and uh, I don't know what what to get. I know probably like like cumin, oregano, stuff like that. I know I put that in my birria tacos, which I make mean birria tacos, man. I really freaking do. One of these days, I will put something together and show you guys. All right, let me get the paperwork all prettied up and uh, we can get going. Continue on US 34 West for 109 miles. Of course, my lady, 109 miles you said? Okay, we're gonna do that. All right, speed limit is 55 through here, and uh, I think we're gonna keep it at 55. We're not in any hurry to get there, and uh, I want to piss some people off that are tailgating me. So, yeah, might even drop it down to 50 or 51. I don't know. We'll see. I may, I may bump it up bump it up a mile or two if I'm feeling reckless, you know, we'll see. We might even get the truck washed today if I'm feeling generous uh, with, with my money, <laughs> but I doubt it. But hey, you never know, my friend. You never freaking know, man. Uh, because the truck is pretty dirty. I know it's not dirty to some of your standards, some of the, some of your guys' standards. Like if it doesn't have mud, if it's not covered in mud, it might not be dirty, but it's dirty to me. Like the hood doesn't look that dirty, but on the side, it's, it's pretty hazy. Let's just call it that. Everybody's checking the truck out while I'm at the truck stop. And it's freaking dirty, it's embarrassing, bro. met a pretty cool guy over here at the truck stop earlier started talking he parked right next to me started talking a little bit I'm like he said he lives here in Iowa small town nearby I was like you're not from around here buddy are you he's like no I'm from New Jersey I was like I freaking knew it man we started talking older guy retired he just drives part-time started talking a little bit I'm like this motherfucker you probably used to be a mob boss or something back east <laughs> and now he's in witness protection here in Iowa I'm like I freaking know a gangster when I see one bro I was super nice to him he, even though he's a lot older than I am but you know Gotta be careful, man. These old guys, they can be freaking dangerous, man. Stab you in the eye with a pencil and shit, and now, you know, you gotta wear, wear eye patch for the rest of your life. You know, you go to Walmart, people be looking at you, thinking you're a pirate, you know. Arr, all right, my dears. be freaking nice I don't know if it's the same Peterbilt what is that RV somebody said it's a car hauler or toy hauler uh, Peterbilt RV with the big ass trailer in the back uh, I've seen a truck same color I don't know if it's the same truck or not it might be it might not seen him in Chattanooga Tennessee yep Chattanooga Tennessee on Interstate 24 in that big ass traffic jam. Got the trailer washed out right over here in uh, what is the place? Osceola. $40. I didn't even need a trailer wash out because I just washed it out like two freaking days ago. 
but I guess they require it over here. But I asked the broker whenever I was booking a load with her, I was like, can you reimburse me for the trailer washout? She was like, yeah, I can do that. Just send me a receipt and I'll do that. I did a trailer washout just a minute ago, took a picture of a receipt, sent it to her. Five minutes later, she reimbursed me for the, uh, she sent me a new rate confirmation with $40 extra for a, for a trailer washout. Also, the guy from a couple days ago when I did the trailer washout, he reimbursed me $45, I think it was. Earlier, before I booked this load, I was trying to book a load. It's going down to Columbia, Missouri directly. It's a load of fresh turkey meat. And the guy says, you need a, you need a trailer washout. I was like, can you, can you pay me this much? He's like, uh, how about that much? I was like, how about this much? Plus, you reimburse me $45 for a, for a trailer washout. He's like, the customer doesn't reimburse, and plus, you should... Plus, you should have your trailer washed out every time. Actually, let me read what he said exactly. Hold on. So he said, I can do this number for the rate, you know. And the uh, customer does not reimburse. He said, trailer washouts cost $40. And it's, it's expected for trailers to be washed out after every delivery due to health and safety. I was like, you shut your bitch ass up, motherfucker how it's supposed to be washed out every time and it's uh the company is called re garrison out of out of coleman alabama they have their own trucks too i should have asked him you dumb freaking moron do your trucks go and while get a washout every time why would you get a washout if you don't need one if the trailer is not dirty you know i understand whenever you whenever they require it okay it's fine but you don't need to do it every time. That, that was my big fear before I started doing uh, reefer stuff. I thought I was gonna need to get this freaking thing washed out every single time. And I'm like, and you don't need to do that because sometimes it's just a little bit of dust and dirt. You just park in the middle of parking lot somewhere and you know, you blow it out. No, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't blow it out in the middle of parking lot. Park somewhere towards the end and blow it out on the grass and pick up big pieces and put them in trash. That's how I do it. And uh, yeah, I always used to wa um, not wash, sweep my trailer when I did drive it. Is the light gonna stay green? Fucking speed up, bro. Of course it's gonna stay green. All the ah, motherfucker. Wash that. Those other jackasses are not even through. And it's giving me red light. I could have freaking went 100%. Bro. Should I go? No, I'm not gonna go. You never know who's behind me. It might be a cop or something. But anyway, the hell was I talking about? Shit. Hold on, man. Let me remember. Don't don't tell me. Man, I don't think I can remember. Dang, bro. I'm losing my damn mind. I don't. I really don't know what I was talking about before I start talking about the light. Hold on, let me replay the video so I can remember. Fuck, man. Okay. I remember what I was talking about. Dang, I forgot again. No, I'm scared. I said I always used to uh, sweep my trailer out when I did a dry van. I would just carry broom around and sweep it out every time like a dumb freaking moron. I'd be up there in the trailer huffing and puffing like a dumb idiot and then uh, but it's a lot easier with the freaking leaf blower you know just blow it out on the grass or to the back of the trailer and just pick up the big pieces you know but I'm like no I want to be respectful about, about other people's property no I don't want to do that no man get yourself a leaf blower blow the shit out to the back of the trailer and then just sweep it you know, towards the end, and sweep it in, in, a, in a trash bag or something. Yeah, a lot easier. I'm, even if I ever went back to driving, uh, pulling a dry van, I would never sweep that stuff out. Lord. 
more traffic, keep right. Why not? And you see, I know there's people behind me, so I'm not, I don't, I don't speed up to like 10 miles over speed limit because somebody's trying to pass me. Like I'm actually being normal, like every other person should be out here whenever you're driving. You know, a lot of times you try to pass somebody, but these cocksuckers they speed up whenever it's a, it, whenever there's a passing lane. But on a, on a lane like this right now, when there's no passing lane, they drop down below speed limit. Like, what's up with that, man? Huh? Why are you doing that? I don't know, man. Why are they doing that? I don't freaking know. Maybe because they're stupid. Hey there, my friend. That's a beautiful truck with beautiful color. It's pearl, pearl color, pearl white, I think. This place right here is Creston, Iowa. That's what the sign there said. So hopefully the sign is not wrong. If the sign is wrong, then I am wrong as well, but I cannot be blamed. Because I did I was not the one who put the sign up, my friend. No sir. this corn my friend look at all this corn buddy look at all this fucking corn corn and corn for miles still on US 34 trucking along west 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 Red Oak, Iowa. I've delivered here one time, long time ago, something from New York. But we stopped here, we're gonna run in there, use their facilities real quick. But before we do that, I wanna address a comment. You know, Mr. Richard, you left a lot of stupid comments and I addressed some of them, but most of them I didn't. This one says, how can you keep thanking veterans for their service and, wor and worshiping Donald Trump. Have you not heard the disrespectful things he has said about veterans? It just amazes me. I don't know what he said about veterans, but you also ask, how can I keep thanking veterans? Because veterans, I don't agree with all the wars that they have to go over there and fight. I don't agree with every war that our government sends them to fight for our government and for us. But I thank every and each one of them for their service, just like everybody else should, just like you should, you stupid piece of shit. If you don't, if you don't like Trump, that's totally fine. I, I used to fucking hate Trump too. But, you know, you don't have to lump in veterans in there too like what what are what have they done to you have they also dumped your mom like i have as well dumb freaking moron get the hell out of here man you can't block people on youtube but you can block them from commenting i did not block this guy yet i don't know why but i could block him he couldn't comment but he could still watch but I don't know. I kind of like his dumbass comments because they make me mad. And, uh, you know, I was all sleepy a little bit and now I'm kind of awake after I read that dumbass comment. Mr. Richard Davis, you are one stupid son of a bitch, buddy. But yeah, Mr. Richard Davis, leave veterans alone. Trump is a fair game. He's, uh, president and if you don't like him that is totally fine with me i like him i used to hate him but i used to like biden but now it's totally opposite now i hate biden i love trump it is what it is by end of the whenever he wins by end of his uh 
term, I might hate him again. You never know. But I'm allowed to change my mind. Everybody is. So hopefully you're going to change my... So hopefully you're going to change your mind and you're going to be a good boy. Alright, peace out, bitch. Alright, that's enough of that. Oh, man. We all just gained a subscriber right over here at this gas station slash truck stop. Very nice fella. Says he's getting... Uh, Oh, I forgot what, what he said. Uh, either CDO in three months or his permit. I'm sorry, I forgot. I forgot what you said, my friend. My attention span is that of a little baby or puppy, whatever. Which means I am dumb. <laughs> oh, oh, we're going to stop a big piece of machinery coming through. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead, buddy. Respect. Respect for farmers, my friend. Well, respect for everybody, you know, who deserves it. Respect is not earned. You don't earn respect just because you do something. There was also a guy, oh boy, people are really upset about that lot of lizard video. They, they come there, they'll see something and it's not there, but in my eyes, it's not clickbait if you're making a joke about it. Like, for example, this video on my title, title, I banged Richard's mom in the ass. But I didn't actually bang her, but I could still name it that way because I'm making a joke about it. In my eyes, I think, I don't know, I may be wrong. But anyway, this one guy says, well, all the bad reviews because the video's title states you picked up a lot lizard and most of us understand that means truck stop hooker a whore or a prostitute clearly we didn't come here to not see the part so the fact your video is 18 minutes long let me straight to the comments and i was not disappointed now i will go elsewhere and won't be subscribing to your channel for sure Especially considering the insults you throw at the viewers commenting. Okay, the last part you should have you should have known that I was gonna throw something at you. I mean, I, I didn't I didn't do it too bad, you know, just a little bit. Uh, but if you read through all the comments, you should have known better than to leave a dumb comment. But like I said, I didn't go too hard on him. I just said your mom is a subscriber. She's watching every video I post. She loves me. We are meeting up tonight. That's all I said. Nothing too bad, you know? So, yeah. But obviously you're not smart enough to realize you shouldn't have said anything. But I don't know, man. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything either. These people are getting me mad. I'm starting to get kind of dizzy. Alrighty, we got 11 miles until we get to Interstate 29 and we're gonna take that north and yeah, so 28 miles all together till we get to our, our pickup address. We're gonna go and see if they're gonna load it right now. I don't know, we'll see. I hope so. Oh, here's an idea. If you work at a store somewhere, truck stop, gas station, whatever, and you need to get a bag, but you know sometimes they get stuck, you can't unstick it, don't lick your fucking fingers to, to get me a bag, okay? I don't want you to spit on my fucking bag. Just get do something else. Un unstick him somehow, some other way. You know, don't, don't put your spit on it, bro. Damn. Fucking nasty, man. And you know, the other thing that I hate the most is full grown fucking men at the truck stop bathroom taking a shit, grunting in there. They get out, they just open the door and leave. They don't wash their hands or anything. Like, what the fuck, man? How nasty is that? That's why I hate grabbing door handles and stuff. I every time, that's why I always have 
so much uh, hand sanitizer and sanitizing wipes because man I don't want to be touching anybody's shit you know over there on the doorknobs man it's fucking gross man and even if you pee you touched your freaking wiener bro and you're just gonna touch the door handle and leave that's disgusting you know there's kids around here that are gonna be touching that door handle and or doorknob whatever you want to call it and then they put it you know how kids are man always sticking their stupid hands in their mouth and stuff come on bro come on you're a grown-ass man wash your fucking hands don't be a nasty ass motherfucker Here we go. Interstate 29 North. US 275 North. We got 16 miles left. Should have checked for revenue collectors up here. Oh, I hope there is any. But uh, I think I should be good. This RV park over here, very nice. Aren't like aren't RV parks uh, supposed to be like some interesting places? Like why is there one right off of the Interstate 29 here in Iowa? What's interesting about this part right here? I don't know. I have already been yapping for about 45 minutes. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, man. I don't. Well, I'm gonna cut a lot of it out, you know. Because there's some stuff that are not interesting sometimes no I'm, I'm just kidding everything is interesting every single word that I say is interesting <laughs> no not really but anyway I don't know what I'm talking about but yeah I record a lot of footage like some of my videos take a long ass time for me to edit them because I'll have like three hours of footage and then I I try to cut it down to like one hour or something like that you know and that's kind of hard so I just cut out a lot of stuff you know, I'm like, ah, I'll just talk about that some other time. I'll just talk about this some, some other time, you know, or whatever, but you know how it is, man. This morning when I woke up over there in, uh, I think I'm pronouncing it right, but I don't freaking know, uh, Osceola, Iowa, I'm just gonna pronounce it like that. I don't care if it's wrong. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> when I woke up, it was 57 degrees outside, man. 57 degrees. I'm not sure I like this, man. Honestly. I'm gonna miss summer when it's gone. I really will. All right. What's going on up here? We're about to get on Interstate 80. Oh damn, we're like just around the corner. We got four miles left. Well, let's go in there, see if they got a... You never know. Maybe they say we load it right now. And I can just go down to delivery. There's no, there's no appointment for delivery or anything. She said, just deliver by 6 p.m. And I trust her because she has already sent me a new rate confirmation with a uh, washout that I just paid over there for $40 that's how much it was I was gonna get it washed out right here there's a blue beacon at the same exit where we gonna exit but I called them and she said it's like $46.50 I was like uh, I don't freaking think so bitch <laughs> I stay here, never mind. Let's just move over here to the right. Oh no. Let's stay here. You don't you don't you don't really wanna 
switch lanes and curves that often, especially if you're going 65 miles an hour. <laughs> and when you should be going like 50, something like that. Maybe, I don't know. Straight ahead, Omaha, Nebraska, my friend. All right, we got, what's this over here on the left? Sap Bros. We got Pilot over here on the right. We got Blue Beacon over here on the left. Looks like they got three bays. So, yeah, we're gonna go up here, check in, see if they're gonna load it. If not, then we'll see what we're gonna do. Probably come back to one of these truck stops and find a illegal place to park. Oh, is that red? I don't know. Look, look green to me, my friend. <laughs> look green to me. Oh, what is that? Truck parking? Really? Turn right, okay. That must be, no, I don't know if it's staging area. Well, I'm just gonna go up here this way. Truck entrance. Am I going to Tyson? Where the hell am I going, my man? Oh no, yeah, that's where I'm going. Well, it's like Tyson, Swift, Food, whatever, some other places. Oh no, Tyson is to the left. We go up here. Okay. Pickup number and the trailer must be washed out. No exception. Let's go over here and check in with this person. All right, well, she said, come back tomorrow morning. And she was nice enough to call the shipping office or whatever. So, but I'm kind of glad, I'm kind of glad they didn't load me. Because I am looking at the rate confirmation right now. And it says uh, that if I pick the load up early, I can be fined. So, thank you young lady, thank you very much for your kindness, even though she was looking at me very weird, but I understand, I understand lady, whenever I show up, people say, wow, look how dumb this person looks, <laughs> get him out of my get him out of our office as soon as possible that's why I always get that's why I always get loaded and unloaded early well not always but a lot of times because it's better to get me loaded and unloaded early than just to look at my dumb ass <laughs> dumb face <laughs> all right I wonder what that place is down there I have no idea like a lot of trucks parked for some reason Alright, let's go down here. Let's go wash this truck. Well, first let me see the address where we are delivering. Because if, if it's uh, what am I call it? <laughs> truck wash entrance. If there's gravel, then we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna wash it, but if it's pavement, we're definitely gonna wash it. Well, I can't see, but it seems like it's a uh, what y'all call it? What y'all call it, y'all? Come on, y'all! 
Remind me. It's a brand new building. Brand new building. Cannot tell if it's got gravel or concrete. Truck washout. No, truck wash. Okay, never mind. Truck wash right here. Truck washout over there. Watch how I'm gonna call it. How bad are you, buddy? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got my own. Hold on, I got my own. Hey, any time, buddy. Fuck the outside. Poor guy was checking his uh his tires the proper way which is with the wheel chalk of course and uh, he could not bend down far enough to get that one of his inside tires so he came up and asked me if I can do it which I was very happy to do I would have checked all of them if he wanted me to but he already checked them he was just stuck on that last one poor man huffing and puffing my friend I am so sorry because it's wet you know we'll, I guess we'll see whenever it dries if it's gonna still look good sure freaking hope so all right well we're just gonna get about 50 gallons right here enough to get us a shower we're gonna get 50 gallons and uh, we're gonna get the reefer topped off. We get about 60 something cents discount for that price right there. So, very nice. Of fuel in the truck and we got the reaper topped off let's go over here and find a parking spot somewhere we'll see if we can find a parking spot that's working for us and shut her down cook some of the mexican food you know there are so many good looking trucks here this truck stop and you know this place brings back a lot of memories because I haven't been up here in a while. I think last time I've been up here is when 
whenever I was trying to, whenever I was trying to buy a trailer. But it's almost like the like I've never been. Well, I don't think I've ever been to this truck stop right here. But it's kind of like wow, look at all this new stuff. That kind of looks the same. <laughs> Man, I definitely don't want to park here. I think we're gonna have to pay for parking. Cause, I don't know. Uh, freaking hell, man. Bag of trash right over here. You guys didn't see it, but I definitely saw it. Right in the middle of the parking lot. Curtains on the wall wall. You know who that is. Ha. This is the first time since January 2006 that I will be paying for parking. First time. I don't know, I kind of feel like staying here to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to go to sleep early. I've posted up right here. It's a pretty nice place and uh, we're just gonna watch all the pretty trucks go in there to get washed down there and to fuel down that way so yeah we're gonna let's go in there pay for this parking stupid ass morons and uh, the people who charge you for parking are stupid ass morons but I don't blame them you know I really don't it's uh you know, drivers are pigs and they want to charge, they want to make sure they get their money for the people they want to make sure they, they get their money to pay somebody to clean this mess so, yeah alright, let me just check if I lock the door and we're gonna be on our way okay, good so let's go see about this parking issue over here well not issue but let's go pay for the parking and uh come back we go make some of the mexican that's a beautiful 389 right there heavy haul don't run me over them motherfuckers and uh yeah yo damn bro my friend flight time enterprises no, I was talking about that, that truck. Fucking beautiful, man. Huh? Blackjack. From West Memphis, Arkansas. 1605, we're the cheapest around. 1605. Hell yeah, look at that truck. Oh my god, something smells so good. It smells like a steak. But something is about to smell even better. Guess what that is? It is a freaking Mexican food, my friend. Here it is. $16.05. I thought there was a snake when I first stepped out of the truck. Almost shed my pants, man. <laughs> I was like, no, don't bite me, you motherfucker. All right, let's crack up, crank up Miss Jenny and start cooking. I'm freaking hungry, bro, which is nothing new because I am always fucking hungry. Let's chop up this steak first. I'm gonna trim off this fat. I'm not a big fan of this fat. This knife is very sharp. Holy guacamole, bro. Either the knife is super sharp or the steak is super tender. Or it could be a combination of both. First, I'm gonna slice it in strips like this and then we're gonna get it cubed
All right, this is the last piece of that steak. Uh, there's two more left. Two more pieces. Let's try to get every bit of it. <laughs> because this shit's expensive, buddy. All right, let's put all this meat up here. Well, in this thing, while we make guacamole. This knife is very sharp, so I gotta be careful with it. Oh yeah, gotta get a spoon. We always put a bag right here, so that we can put our trash. We put the trash where trash belongs. Man, I have seen so many good looking trucks here. Really, I don't feel out of place anymore, man. I feel like I'm a gun, I'm blah, blah, blah. I feel like I am amongst my people. That's the word I'm looking for. I don't know why I'm making this much guacamole, but hey, you can never have too little guacamole. Oh, well, I'm gonna throw that shit away, bro. Fuck that. Truck's clean. <laughs> 70 second rule. I don't want to, I don't want to get, well, we dropped that one down on the ground. I don't want to get too close to the blade. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, Mr. Onion. If you guys didn't know, I am a very good cook. Very freaking good. Not to brag or anything, but... I love onions. With everything. I can eat onions with everything, man. Seriously. Maybe that's a little bit too much of onion, but... You can never have too much onions, in my opinion. All right, all right. Mmm, damn, it smells good. Now it's time for cilantro. Let's rinse it off over here and get the chopping. All right, got the battery changed. And got this stuff rinsed off. Alright, there it goes, cilantro. I really feel like I might have been. I really feel like I might have been a Mexican in my previous life. I really do. What's next? Jalapeno. Take the seeds out. Ah, oh, damn it. Just lost the bigger half of jalapeno. It's alright. We still got plenty left. This recipe, by the way, is chipotle uh, recipe. For their guacamole.
Hi. Now, it's time for some lime. Oh, come on. Come on, put a whole lime in it. One more thing it needs, salt. Gotta go inside, grab a salt. Grab some salt, yes sir. All right, now we gotta add some olive oil. Wish I had some vegetable oil, but it is what it is. Now we gonna go ahead, throw our meat in. You hear that sizzle? All right, now we're gonna put that in, the whole thing. Okay, now we can shut the generator off because this is pretty much cooked. All right, so now, Let's finish with this guacamole. I'm gonna put some salt in there first. That is way too much gu guacamole. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Damn! That's good guacamole, buddy. That is good guacamole. Try it at home one time, guys. Try it. And thank me later. How many? Uh, we'll make two. If we don't eat it, which I probably won't. Okay. I might. I just freaking might, bro. What do you guys think? Maybe it looks like a mess, but I bet it's gonna be freaking delicious, man. So that's it. Now, that is freaking delicious. Thank you everybody for watching, for coming along. It is much, much appreciated. You guys have a great day. Please stay safe out there or have a great night. It's night, why am I saying have a great day? Anyway. You guys take her easy and I will see you in the next video.